Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. It is 4.53 p.m. in the afternoon on the 25th of Julie 2024. So I hope you're well. And just have a look what's going on here. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And if you'd like to help me out, if you'd like to send me a PayPal gift to help support this free service, please do that. Um, I don't know what the address is. What's the address? Uh, PayPal.com forward slash Jason Newland. Um, so I want to say thank you to those that have sent me answers or questions rather because tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow is Q&A Friday again. So if you've got any questions for this week's Q&A Friday, please go to my Jason Newlands Boring Group on Facebook and please leave a, uh, a question. So it's quite good. I've already got a few already. So if you, the more questions you give me, the longer the recording will be, <laughs> which isn't necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. So far... I've got questions from Megan, Kate, Hillary, Ben, and Diana. So thank you for your questions. Vinny's just let one go already. It's really early and he's just let one go. Um, right, so uh, what should I do? What am I, what am I, what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my back seems to be recovering. So I'm grateful for that. That's what I'm feeling grateful for. Because I know I'm not gonna keep talking about it, but it's it was pretty painful and now it's very much reduced. And yeah, I'd say even reduced from yesterday. Yesterday was a big reduction from the day before. So just little things like turning over in bed is not as painful as what it was. That's nice. It's just nice to not have that. Uh, yeah, it's not nice for it to be even if it's a slow recovery, I, I don't mind. I'm fine as long as it reduces and that's good. So I don't know whether it was a pulled muscle or whatever it was, it seems to be recovering, which is good. I'm pleased about. So thank you. I'm grateful for that. Uh, I started reading or started listening to a new audio book yesterday. I like to keep you up updated with my audiobooks. And uh, this one is it's on Audible. The good thing about this one is it's not it didn't cost me anything. I mean you can only read you can only listen to it if you're a member of Audible, but it comes with the subscription. So it didn't cost me any credits or anything. Because you get one credit a month. But you can give the credit back you can give a book back and then get another book out with the same credit like you get your credit back uh, but I've got 287 titles I've been with with Audible for not the whole time but on and off for a long long time many years and some of these titles are part of the subscription so maybe probably five five eight five to eight of them I think are, I don't know 
how many there's a few so they're not actually mine but most of them are mine most of them are like purchased you know over the years I mean it's been I don't I don't even know if it was before I moved here that I was on audible it's been a long time I wonder if I can see does it tell me does it tell me when I started you have one credit view account listen history listening history no it's no blimey what what so I've got quite a few books on the go there achievements listing time help support delay request no badge collection so it doesn't I am at the listening master listening level yep um, if I'd known that I'd have changed my surname to Bates if I knew I was going to reach the master level uh, so yeah I don't know if there's anything above master PhD maybe me so yeah I, it doesn't tell me how, how long I uh, when I first started oh no it does member since 2024 so that's not true it is true but I've been a member for probably 10 years maybe more maybe less but quite uh, quite a few years any, oh, I was going to tell you what book I'm reading. Well, listening to. It is Sociology. Sociology. Why does that sound wrong? Sociology. 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 It sounds wrong. Doesn't it sound wrong? Sociology which is it's basically about social stuff <laughs> oh, uh, I'm on chapter 8 and I still so I can't even say the word because you've got social social workers sociology social oggy social oggy sociology 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 we, it just sounds wrong. Well, however I say it, it sounds wrong. Sociology. Oh, uh, anyway. it's It fits together very well with psychology. Because it's... You could... There's a lot of studies, a lot of... If... It fits perfectly. It kind of... With psychology, but more... A big... A much more broader subject than psychology because it covers everything to do with the social life to do with human beings tribes countries traditions ethnicity religion all that everything kind of is under the umbrella of sociology so it still doesn't sound right it's very interesting so that's the that's the book I'm currently I was listening to last night that's why I let you know <laughs> that's it really there's no more to that also always looking out for nice little deals uh, I got an email offering me two three months free for Readly which is a newspaper and magazine website or app I mean I it go I'm I'm on the actual website so it's fine but it's basically there's according to this how many 2000 I'm sure it says it's like 2000 content 2000 or seven thousand magazines and and uh, papers recommended all magazines at all. So yeah, so I basically I got it's twelve pound ninety nine a month after the two months is up. So I can just uh, cancel it 
without paying anything. But I got two months free, so I thought, yeah, I get to read the newspapers and I can use, instead of buying a magazine for four pound or, let's say, let's say chat magazine. So how much does chat magazine, this month's one? It's one pound 25. So instead of paying, what? That's weird. It's way too big. That's too big. Chat magazine is one twenty-five. It's not a good example because most of the magazines are more than that. Um, I held my girl's brain in a jar. What? The problem with these is that it's just there's a lot of. It's a little bit. I don't know. I I, I don't think. The magazine's really aimed at me. It's it doesn't seem to be. Um, my beagle Daphne is a real food hound. My beagle Daphne, what's a beagle Daphne? We can't eat a meal without her giving us the puppy dog eyes. It's a miracle that so far we've only had one emergency. Has got into so when I read that, oh, this is okay. I held my, oh. see none of it looks, because I want to find stuff that's light hearted, yeah maybe a bit amusing, a bit interesting, but I don't want to be reading about just horrible stuff, you know, I don't, I'm not definitely going to, I don't want to be discussing that on this podcast, because that's not what this is about, married three years, Easiest ever bakes. Um, so yeah, come on in. What's this one? Come on in. My big oh, it's, oh, she's got a picture of a dog. That's a beagle, is it? It's like a no. Oh, looks more like a. Oh, okay. I didn't know what a beagle was. Uh, what's your style? Pool size? Okay, so. If I just go out of these, I go out of these pages, chat to us. We have been, what ha, What have you been up to now? Let's have a look. So this is chat magazine. What have you been up to? Let's see what people have written. What's your favorite biscuit? My cat Belle is 17 and loves nothing more than taking her afternoon nap tucked up in bed. Doesn't she look cozy? Yeah, she does. Can't argue with that. It's, it's, a, it's the truth. Definitely. Chat to us. What have you been up to? I Here I am relaxing in our wonderful garden with my son, R-H-Y-S. Um, he and his dad, Simon, worked so hard to transform the garden for us all to sit back and enjoy. Okay, cool. It's nice. Um... Then you've got my children, Evelyn 2 and Oscar 5, are always ready to enjoy the outdoors, whatever the weather. I... Oh, right. So basically, if you send in the picture, they'll send you £25. Blimey. £25? My beautiful horses are best friends and have a relaxing life with me in mid Wales. Kate left is 16 and Gwen... Gwen Gwen is seven. Oh, they do look happy. Uh, this one, I was so overwhelmed and honoured to receive a lifetime achievement from MP Kim Leadbeater, MBE, former work as a volunteer. I'm so proud of myself, Claire. Well done, Claire. Um. I nearly received, uh, well, I, I have to make it about myself, don't I? I, I went to this um, ceremony awards thing. This is years ago. I mean, we're talking 2007. And it was, an award, it was like a volunteer awards thing. And I went with two different charities. Because I was doing volunteering for two different charities that were both there. So I kind of just split between going between the two of them. 
and I didn't realise till I got there that I'd been nominated for a volunteer of the year for I don't know for whatever couldn't believe it it was lovely it didn't didn't win it but it's just you know being being nominated for something was nice never been nominated for anything before no never anything no I haven't won anything no I, that's no, that's not true I won a bottle of whiskey once I won a bottle of whiskey once in a pub. I went in there, into the pub, I don't know why. I think my friend was speak wanted to speak to his dad. And I put a like a pound bet or get, got a ticket or something. And ba basically it was it was a it was a horse race. But it's pre recorded. And whoever won it, it was I think it was a lucky dip to be honest. Whoever won, got the thing, won a prize. And then we went back in later, and they said, you've won this. I said, what? A bottle of whiskey. I said, brilliant. I think I gave it to my dad. Yeah, because I, I don't drink whiskey. I either gave it to my dad, or just said, just keep it. Give it to someone else, or something like that. But I was like, wow, I won something. I actually won. I was crying. I was. It's amazing. Right. See, this this is a bit annoying because I'm every time I touch the screen, it keeps going down, like moving on to the next thing, which is a little bit annoying because I have to touch the screen to scroll it. Yeah, I know. I don't. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. But I have to. I have to scroll. I need to touch it to scroll it, but it keeps going down unless. Unless I use it on here, if I use it on the iPad, maybe it will work better. Because I know I've definitely got it on my my phone. It should sync with the iPad. I'm hoping iPad. What is it called? Readly. 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 Really, 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 really. It might be the last one in there because the last thing I uploaded, or the last app, I can't see the screen because this thing's in the way. A microphone. Readly, really, get nope. Readly, it's green. Readly, readly, no, is that readly? Nope. Readly, readly, no, nope, nope. I have to download it, I think. Where's the app store? That's it. Right, let's see if I can find it. In fact, I'm going to close that laptop, put this on top of there. Whoops. Blimey. And readly. That's it. Oh, update. No, isn't it weird? I put Readly and then Press Reader comes up. I used to be with Press Reader and it's another magazine and newspaper thing, but they're more expensive, so I, I used them. I had them free for a while. Uh, okay, right, so let's open Readly. S please enable notifications. You can get that. Stop asking. <laughs> Something went wrong. Reload. Right, continue. Okay. This should do the job. Should, should, should. Yes. So I'm now logged in. I'm hoping, so I'll go back to chat. All right, okay. So, all right, this, I think this is gonna be a little bit easier to use now. Come on in, chat us, chat to us now. All right, so I can stroll up and down and it's not taking me to the next page or anything, so it's better on the iPad. Uh, what's your favorite biscuit? Get the kettle on. What, this week's we met Sylvia Foster, 69, from Driffield. 
and they met her and they thought these are the questions she get asked so, so you see the questions I get asked on my Q&A Friday this is the question that she gets asked um, what is your favourite biscuit McVitie ginger nut without question can't argue with that do you have any interest in hobbies I love to cl I love to eat ginger McVitie's ginger nut biscuits okay tell us about your pets if you have any um, I've got a dog who also likes to eat ginger nut biscuits her name's Daisy right okay what was the last good deed someone did for you they bought me some ginger nut biscuits blimey this, this is a bit one track isn't it if you could live anywhere in the world where would you go I'd like to live in a ginger nut biscuit factory <laughs> blimey Sylvia um, okay nice what she said uh, do you have any interest hobbies this this is her well, I love to collect autographs from anyone famous that I meet and I'm obsessed with Duolingo app what Duolingo app I'm currently learning Spanish Duolingo I don't know what that is I think I've heard of it I think it's a, it's a way that you can you can repeat what you've heard or something I don't know uh, I'd like to learn some new languages but I still feel that I've not I'm not fully learned English yet I mean look I'm struggling to say sociology still sounds wrong doesn't it sound wrong sociology sociology so sociology so, it just sounds wrong I don't know why um, tell us about your pets if you do have any well there's Daisy my dog my two year old golden girl is extra special I said she's extra special she's suffered ok I'm just going to talk about illnesses so that's it that's nice what was the last good deed someone did for you had no loose change for the parking meter and a guy I didn't know rushed up and paid for me it was so kind of him that is a nice thing it's nice when people do stuff like that isn't it I just yeah I love doing that for other people if I can just little things there's a couple of times there was there was this bloke he was on the bus and I was sitting on the bus I was at the front of the bus luckily and he got on and his his card wasn't working like his debit card for whatever reason and it happens happened to me where the card hasn't worked on the machine and I knew for a fact where he needed to get to where he was going to town and he was he was only up the road from where I live it's, it's a long it's like a two hour two and a half hour walk to town and the bus driver, no sympathy. Like, really, well, you need to pay. And uh, this is before they capped it at one pound fifty a journey, because since when the fuel bills went up, they they sort of reduced the prices. I think it's still capped. And um, so not, it was like three pound or something. But he didn't have any change. Well, he had. He didn't have enough change on him. He had like. 30 pence or something because he didn't expect to need to have change and again I'm in a similar situation I don't I hardly ever have change because I use my debit card for most things most payments I use a debit card for if I go into the petrol station or go into the pet shop um, or if I pay for stuff online it's all debit card it used to be credit card as well to be honest but I don't I can't use a credit cards anymore Can you hear that? Wonder why people's talk quite see, they're making him bark now. I wonder why people talk quite so loud when they're right next to each other. Can you imagine how loud they'd get if they were opposite sides of the like street? I don't know if you can hear that, but we can hear it. They're not anywhere near us. They're outside, but they're over the fence. 
You can hear downstairs flat closing their windows so they don't have to hear it. It's when she hears it, she turns her music on to block it out because it's so annoying. <laughs> Uh, and then I've got to turn my music on to block out her music. So, if you would live anywhere in the cost, I it would. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you go? This is um, Leslie, um, Sylvia. Well, I think it was Leslie, Sylvia. I would love to be in the Costa Blanca region of Spain in Alicante, soaking up some sunshine and drinking a Café Con Lech, or was it Leche, or a Vino Blanco, I don't know what either of those are, I'm guessing one's a coffee, cafe, I guess it's a coffee, but she looks like a nice lady actually, you know, I've never been, well I've been to Spain, but like only for a few hours, I think I'm due one day, I hope to go to Spain on a holiday or just uh, just I don't know maybe just for the weekend or something but just I want to see if the climate is better for me because I've well, I've heard that I got a warmer climate is better for, for arthritis and things like that and yeah, it might be worth uh, worth looking into that. I was talking about something, but I've completely forgot what I was talking about. Do you know that? How weird. Oh, yeah, this bloke on the bus. And the bus driver wasn't going to let him on. I mean, he was already on the bus. I could see this going a bit wrong. Because I, I don't think that the passenger was going to get off the bus. Because he was already on the bus, you know, in order to get to be near where the driver is to, to pay. I thought, oh, this is going to, this is going to be problematic. So what I did is I just paid for the bloke. Okay, ready? All together. There's a hero, <laughs> and his name is Jason. He paid the passengers fee on a bus. Yeah, it's not like oh, oh, oh how good am I? It's just it's a nice thing to do. It, was, it wasn't a lot of money. It was like three pound or something. It helped him to get where he wanted to get to. He. He only had one leg. And he was carrying a big bag of bricks. So, okay, I don't know if that's true. But it makes it a bit more... He had a wheelbarrow as well, full of marbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That's just ridiculous. I don't know why. Why? Why? Anyway, chat is proud to work with the catty with the catty chatty cafe scheme, which hosts three weekly chatter and netter tables and cat. I don't think this is aimed at me. Here's another picture. I recently took. This is Teresa from London. I recently took part in a local fundraising effort. Selling all my wonderful, colourful turtles. Um, and knitted, knitted donkeys. I was going to say they don't look like turtles. They look like no, they look like donkeys to me, but they are as well. All the proceeds went to a donkey charity I joined last year. Good for you, Teresa. Groovy, groovy. Right, so. Okay. Right, so I'm not going to read this. I 
get rid of that one. So what's the next thing? Stop. Okay. Win £400 cash. Shirley Chisholm. Chisholm? Chisholm? C-H-I-S-H-O-L-M. Is that Chisholm? The first black woman to run for US president received how many votes during primary season in 1972 fit these numbers into the grid one number doesn't fit this is the prize answer one number doesn't fit how am I supposed to do that so 151 is done we've got to fit them in How? How am I supposed to fit it in? I mean, do they go down? So down at 12, okay, 12 digits going down. I could do this, you know. I've already figured out one. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. What if I can do it? Will they allow me to do it online? No, they won't. You, bleh. Damn it. I've already figured the first one out. It's 80. 082519 going down because the first one they've done already is 151 and that's the only number going down eight numbers that's got a one before the end and then I can do the next one so that's one five one nine nine one five two so two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, six digits starting with two. So it's two, nine, nine, two, three, two. So I've got that one. And then I can do the next one. It's easy to do because I can just do the, a number that's got one in the third. It's four letter, four, four numbers, but one in the third number. So three, uh, so that's one, f no, four, four, I said. Oh, no, it might not be, though, because there's, there's another one. Damn you. That's not right. That's annoying, that is. Why would they do that? What what possible? Oh, no, but then if that goes along. Oh, okay, I'm going to give up. But I could have done that. I want to do it now. I can't think of anything else in the whole world. I want to know more than doing that. I could win £200. But I can't do it. Because it's in a it's in a magazine. It's, it's on the screen. But it won't let me do any. Like actually do it. It's not fair. Then it says your answer. What do you mean your answer? Shirley Chisholm, how many votes during primary season in 72? One number doesn't fit. This is the prize answer. I already, f already found the one that doesn't fit. It's either 1917, okay, 1917, or 9711. So this is about even doing it this is how amazing <laughs> I am okay so I've not even done the whole puzzle and I've got no idea I've never even heard of Shirley Chisholm Chisholm um, so this is the number how many one number doesn't fit this is the prize answer so it's going to be one of two okay so it's either 9,711 or 1,917. Okay. So I'm going to look it up. Shirley Chisholm. Shirley. Shirley. Chisholm. Chis 1977, wasn't it? Um... National Women's 1970 how many votes 
how many votes? How many votes? What did I say? Jism missed one thousand of what? She missed one thousand one hundred thirty-four of seven thousand seventy-one roll call votes, which is twenty-seven point four percent. This is a much worse than the medium seven point eight. She garnered one hundred fifty-two. She garnered one hundred fifty-one thousand. What? I don't know. It's not even giving me a correct answer. Why can't it just give me a correct answer? Why would it mess around like that? And now I've lost the page. Now I've, I don't know where. Where is Readley? Where's it gone? It's it's hiding from me now. Oh, there it is. Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman to run for U.S. president. We see them. Primary season, 1972. Okay, so let's have a look. 1972. 1972. How many votes? How many votes? Come on. She got 430,703. This is the primary results. Wow. It's not bad, is it? Um... I don't think that's even a number. I mean, it is a number. I'm not arguing it's an actual number. But 4,330,703. For some reason, this is really important to me. 430,703. Now, there isn't. It's not on it. Oh, yes, there is. Four hundred thirty-seven oh three. Oh, fair enough. It's six digits. So, why go through all the process if you can just look it up on Google? That'd be easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's the first puzzle that I was actually interested in ever in my life. I used to do word searches. I used to love doing word search when I was young and what's the um, black and white squares the word cross cross crossword I was never because you need to know stuff for crosswords don't you and I never really got a chance to learn anything spiral x word which Olivia Rodrigo song is said to be about her ex about her ex actor Joshua Bassett oh about her ex actor Joshua Bassett the answer to each clue apart from the first begins with the last letter of the preceding answer the shaded quote squares will spell out the one word prize answer right so number one gameplay with a shuttlecock Shuttlecock Ball, um, Australian soap opera. Was quite a few. What you can't, isn't it? So game played with a shuttlecock. Oh, badminton! I've already done it. Really? But if you've already done it, why didn't it go all the way down? The answer to each clue, apart from the first, begins with the last letter of the preceding answer. The shaded squares will spell out one word prize answers. The, the shaded squares will spell out the one word prize answer. Huh? Australian soap opera. This is number two. Um, Neighbours or Home and Away. Although, I might have mentioned this before, the best soap opera, uh, Australian soap opera, was Sons and Daughters. Sons and Daughters. 
Oh yes. Oh, someone's slamming the door downstairs again. Bless them. I wonder why they keep doing that. What if they? What kind of gratuity? Kind of uh, pleasure they get from slamming the door? I wonder. Do you wonder? I wonder. Three in a way. Three in a row. 2023, which cricket team representing the South of England retained the Charlotte Edwards Cup? Um, uh, but I don't care, doesn't fit into it, so it can't be that. Just genius. Your tips are the tops. So this is the next page. Bright idea. I bought a £2 set of battery-operated indoor lights and attached them to the top of our bedroom wardrobes. They give a lovely ambience and a relaxing feel to the room. Barbara from uh, Durham. Durham. Uh, yeah, it does look nice actually. I can see. I don't think I want them all, all the time. But it's, yeah, it does give, it's nice. It's a nice wardrobe. Can't argue with that. Got a nice wardrobe there, Barbara. I don't have a wardrobe. I used to have a wardrobe. I've had multiple wardrobes over the years. My current wardrobe is on its side with my TV on it. Which for some people might have thought seem a little bit weird. Yeah. Minis for minis. This is the next thing. So this is basically you just send in your your top tips. So, minis for minis. Very young children can find a whole sandwich a bit too much. So, I make pinwheels filled with cream cheese or peanut butter for picnics and lunch boxes. That is a good idea. To be fair, I mean, I don't like the idea. To me, it looks like you've mixed both together. You've put filled with cream cheese, cream, cheese, cream, or peanut butter. I'm pretty sure you've mixed the both together, because I'm seeing white and brown. Yeah, so I don't know about that, but it's a very good. They look lovely. Very nice, ni very nicely put together. So, yeah, I've. I think all food, perhaps. Yeah, be presented in that way. Just little bits. Like a little tapas. Is it tapas in Spain? We you say a little bit of everything. I, say, I like that. I really do. I really do. I used to go to a tapas bar in London. In East London with my cousin. And we used to go in there and have a few drinks. And, have a, and it was lovely. Oh, so nice. All the food with different things to try. Oh, great. I love that. I haven't done that for years. Over 25 years, probably. So, what's the next idea? Shelf respect. Karen from Devon says, We moved a house and needed a kitchen shelf. So my husband used an old scaffold board and created the perfect solution. The jars are not old hot dog jars. Oh, the, the jars are old hot dog jars. I love the result. What's an old scaffold board? Oh, yeah, suppose, yeah, I guess. As long as it's sturdy, that's the thing. Because I remember I had, yeah, let's make it about me. I, I, when I had my bedroom when I was a kid, I lived upstairs. This is the last sort of family bedroom I had, like my own bedroom in the family house. And it was quite a small room, but I liked it. But there's no light, which again, I didn't, I didn't mind actually. Uh, my, my, and it's the weirdest thing ever. Why would you have a... I guess you have to have windows in a room. I think it's probably the law. But this window is facing a brick wall. I'm talking pretty much no light 
came into the room. Very strange. My only guess maybe is that the house was built before the other house next door was built. Perhaps. Or they converted maybe that was the loft maybe they they added that top floor they converted it from being something else to I mean it might have been just one big room do you know what I mean it might be like the whole floor might be just one room so there was the big room in the front and that might the room next to it was mine that might have been part of that room and there was a window in the other room that was like quite big and facing the front with lots of light. So maybe that's what it was. It wasn't that when we moved in. It was definitely rooms, I think. But not one with a vu. Why am I talking about a room with, with a window? Oh yeah, so I had a shelf. Now, I've been a book collector all, all as far back as I remember. And I'd like to get more into it again. Just, you know, I don't know. It's, you know I don't know? Do you know I don't know? You know. I don't know. I'd like to be able to tear my way, away, tear myself away from the internet and just get back to reading and I always like reading and I've got um, I've got a nice Kindle so I could I could read Kindle and stuff but I've also got books I've got I don't know how many books I've got a couple of hundred probably so when I was a kid I didn't have a huge amount of books but I had, I, I like to collect them, you know. So, for example, I enjoyed reading Tom Sharp books, especially the Wilt, the Wilt books by Tom Sharp. They were very funny. And I'd just buy one after another and read them. And I'd buy the Star Trek books as well, I think. Either that or I rented, I might have gotten them from the library. I'm not sure, but I would read just one book after another after another and the Star Trek ones were based on the well there was only ever one Star Trek at that time and it was the 60s TV show uh, that was long before it wasn't long before but it was a few years before the uh, next generation started so I think that started in the late 80s didn't it next generation so with a uh, Picard, big yard. Anyway, I had this shelf and it kept falling down. That was the whole story leading up to that. And it wasn't, it was just, it was a kind of, it was an ornament shelf. It was the kind of thing that you could put maybe some fluffy toys on. You know, something very light. A little pile of marshmallows stuck together with a ribbon, I, I don't know, I don't know how you stick marshmallows together, but it wasn't for heavy things, and books individually aren't necessarily particularly heavy, but once you put on like 20, 30, 40 books, it just kept falling off, so I don't know why I just didn't just buy myself a, a bookcase, I could easily have done that. In fact, if I just asked my dad I need a bookcase, he would have got me a bookcase, I've no doubt. I just didn't think about it. I, it's not the kind of things I used to think about when I was a kid. But there was always play. Or, or I had storage in this storage unit to put my books anyway. But I went through this little phase, this little phase of buying, what should I call them, science fiction books. But they were very, very adult. And that's why I bought them. Because there was stuff in there that you wouldn't even see. You'd n you st even today, you wouldn't see it in a movie. It's too, too rude. But I was, what, 14 or something. 
and I just just loved reading it because I like the science fiction part because I was into the Star Trek, but also like the 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 naughty bits as well. It was just it was yeah, there was a lot of those books, a lot. I didn't read all of them because I'd have to be yeah, I'd be about seven thousand years old if I'd read all of them. It wouldn't take me 7,000 years, but I think I would age a lot. It would take a lot of my uh, <laughs> energy. It's, it's, yeah. No, I used to read them. I used to read them, but they were thick, thick old books. And I realised at one point that I was just scanning through for the dirty bits. I was. I wasn't even reading them. I just, like, managed to, if I saw anything that was mildly naughty... And that's and I just you know that's the bit I'd read. That's when I realised maybe that's it's a bit pointless reading any other books. Just stick to them. <laughs> so loopy life hack is another one. I find that th this is Pam from Hampshire. Hampshire. Uh, loopy life hack. I find that the ribbon loops in clothing rather frustrating, but have a great use for them. Ribbon loops? What ribbon loops? I cut them out and reused them, making my own gift tags out of the ribbon and old greeting cards. What's a ribbon loop? What's a ribbon? What are ribbon loops? I've no idea what they are. A money saver and environmentally friendly too. Win win, win win win. So twenty five pound. That's not bad, is it? I wonder if I've got any uh, top tips I can read. Uh, here's another one. Space saver. This is Jane from Suffolk. Space saver. When you want to freeze meat, transfer it to freezer. Okay, I think we all knew that already. You want to freeze something, put it in the freezer. Wow. Now that's a space. <laughs> okay, there's more. Transfer it to the freezer. Transfer it to freezer bags and press them flat. That way you don't take up too much room in the freezer and defrost it in no time at all. Yeah, that makes sense. It's still the same space though, isn't it? I suppose if you, if you squeeze it flat, you kind of potentially ruined it, maybe. It might not be as fluffy. I, I don't know. I, d I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. How should I know? But to me, it looks like it wouldn't be so good. But it's a great idea. Now, the next one is from Nicola from East Sussex. That's a stretch. Okay. So, when my children are in between sizes of trousers or jeans, I use one of my old maternity button extenders to bridge the gap until they're ready for the next size up. I understood that. Wow. There is a picture that makes it easy, to be fair, so that's probably what I understood. I didn't... If you've got maternity, you just... Don't you just buy bigger... Cl I mean, if you're, if you're maternal, if you've got maternity issues, you... You wouldn't wear jeans anyway, would you? I don't know. This has got like, a picture of jeans and stuff. You, I mean, I my tracksuit, the tracksuit bottoms I've got, I could put on probably three stone, and or f and they'd still fit me because they're elastic. I don't know if they'd still fit me, and I'm not going to try it either. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, nope, not going to read that. What's your style? 
Sarong, anyone? Sarong? Again, I'm not sure it's aimed at me. One size style tip. Tie around your waist to cover your tummy area or cross the ends of the sarong to create a halter neck top or dress. They're not advertised. This is adverts. Why they not got stuff for me? I don't mean me specifically, but you know. A manly man like me. Oh, we've got shirts from eight pound. Style tip. Oh, but they're, 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 they're not. No. Your ultimate spring garden full of colour. Go away. Oh, look, 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 look. The biggie. This is a crossword puzzle. I wonder if I could do a cross. I wonder. What inspired tennis champion Roger Federer to take on interest in fashion and design? To find out, solve the crossword, then read down the shaded squares to find the four word prize answer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. What? Read down the squares. One, two, I don't understand it. So 11 across, small river, 11 across, small river, pond, P-O-N-D, no. It's got six letters, ponds, uh, pond, small river. Um, oh, dike, D-Y-K-E, no. That's a side of a, a field. Small river. Uh, tiny C. T I N Y S. Small river. Reservoir. Is it reservoir? Six. R E S. R E S. Of reserve, R E S E R V, E, reserve reservoir. Is it R? Is it E? Just it, R. Dam. No, D A M. That's only that's only five letters. So six letters. Small river. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's too easy. So I'll go to the next one. Metal nine letters. Obviously, it's going to be steel. No. Um, there's only one that's going to have letters. Aluminium, isn't it? Surely. A-L-L-I-M. A-L-L-U-M-A-N. A-L-I-M. A-L-I-M. A-U. N, aluminium, mum. Uh, 12, 12 down. Let's have a look at 12 down and see if that's right. Thin rope, 12 down. Because that's uh, 12 across and 12 down. So, a thin rope, string, S T R I N G. Really? A thin rope is string. We all know that, but it's only got six. S T R I N G string S T R S T R I N G but 12 down has got 1 2 3 f 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that makes no sense to me you've got 12 across and 12 down but 12 down oh ah oh, no no How weird, because that's wrong. Six. A oh, one. One down. String. S T R I N G. See, you've got that one. Brilliant. Number four down. Brilliant. Four down. Brilliant. 
excellent e x c e l l e n t that's going to be what it is i reckon a demolition vehicle um number three that's free down number seven free down seven police car p o l i c e okay demolition vehicle let's forget that um no it's got nine number five going down five going down p o l i c e c a r it's just police car i do get it right character from wizard of oz 25 down three three so it must be two two names 25 character down 25 down 25 down 25 where's 25 down the wizard d t h e w i z the wiz okay um the witch t h e w i t dorothy d o r no because it's free the wizard of oz no but then the witch of oz the munchkins the munchkins t h e m u n so that doesn't make sense I think they got it wrong. I think they made some, yeah, they got they made it wrong. Twenty five down, and it's six, three and three. So T H E. The scarecrow. The Tin Man. Tin Man. T I N, T I N M A N, or. The lion, T H E L I O N. And that's only six letters. Three each. Oh. Six down. I should know this one. Six down. Uh, four. Four, six down. Somebody tells fibs. Really? Four. This is six down. Six down. But only four. Six. Okay, yeah. Someone tells fibs. Someone who tells fibs. See. Person who tells fibs. Four letters. Well, it starts with C, doesn't it? Uh oh. Don't is it a um I can't find it now. Person tells fibs six and it's four. L um Um Wang uh, Bast uh, C Nob No Wang Someone who tells fibs Why don't they put someone who tells lies Makes it a bit easier isn't it Like fibs What kind of Fibber Fibba, F I B B, no. Ah, elephant. Ah, well. We'll go on to the next thing. So, car park, one family's night of celebration. Nope. What's the verdict? Oh, look, spot the difference. Oh. This would make it more interesting if you could see. Spot the di I used to love these. Spot the difference. Easy. Easy peasy. Look closely at these two pics. There's a difference in the five squares. 
the five good references, e.g. 1A, 2B, the, the, are the prize, are you, what? Are you, are you prize answer? Are your prize answer? The, the five grid reference. There's a difference in five squares. Okay, I can find straight away. One. Da, 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 two. Right, starting from the top. Clouds on the right hand side. That's different. That's one. And there's a submarine in the back of one. Oh, that's a bit too obvious, really. There's a submarine in the back of one. That's not in the second one. The eye colour is different in the first one. So that's three. And uh -huh. right, the mat is closer to left. The mat is longer. I don't know if it's a mat something and the top one but it's shorter in the top one and the long one so what's that one two three four there's one more left i'd say it's gonna be probably to do with her hat or her glasses her face looks different somehow i can't really see i've got legs Got less toes, toes, same color there. Uh, oh, this last one's a bit, a little bit. Uh, oh, how annoying. I was doing so well until then. I reckon I was probably doing better than anyone's ever done ever. Probably the best that ever's ever done this. Play this game. What else is there? Uh, right, clouds, clouds, clouds. A C, 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 C. That's the same. Clouds are the same. Um, it's got to be her. Something different with her. It does look, I can see, but I, you know when you can see something, but you can't see it? So I can see there's something, but I can't quite make it out. Oh, God. In the second one, she's smoking a cigar. Oh, that's it, so it looks different, yeah. So that's six. Was it three? Oh, four? How many did I get? One. Oh, got it, yeah. So yeah, smoking a cigar, so that's good. So I found that. Told you I was good at that. Ne -ne 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 -ne. Under a spell. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. I can't believe this. I missed this. I've been talking absolute rubbish for an hour. And there was actually an interesting story in there that I could have been talking about. Health, the advice you need. So we ready? Okie doke. Under a spell. So this is Sarah from Hertfordshire, and it's uh, under the, under a spell is the the title of the article, <laughs> and then it says hypnosis. No, I can't just do an awful voice. Hypnosis solved my health issues. Uh, my alarm, this is what it's, this, I'm just going to read it. It says, my alarm buzzed and I quickly hit snooze, rolling over with a groan. Didn't sleep again. Didn't sleep again. My husband, Jason, then 51, frowned. No, I sighed wearily. It was February 2020 and I was battling insomnia caused by fibromyalgia uh, I won't read it all out vertebrum. Um, it's a good day as I get four hours. Number of days, not so much. Uh. 
the early two things I managed were work and singing, my two, my true passion. For the last two years, I've been attending a local choir. The music director, Julia, led our rehearsals once a week. When lockdown hit, we continued on Zoom. One day in 2021, Julia mentioned she was training as a clinical hypnotherapist. The following year, she told me she'd qualified. Oh, I'll just come out of it. Okay, I'd like to try that. I'd like to try hypnotherapy, I said. I explained that I'd like more confidence in my solo singing. But like many people, my only experience with hypnotherapy was from a TV shows where people were made to do crazy things. Uh, I'm not going to end up clucking like a chicken, am I? I giggled to Julie. There's nothing woo-woo about hypnotherapy, she assured it's about me giving you the right tools to shift your mindset and make changes. So after restrictions lifted, I had an initial chat with Julie about my goals for a 12-week program. What about the sleep and the pain, she asked. Julie knew all about my struggles uh, with insomnia and I hadn't considered hypnotherapy for those issues, but it was worth a try. Julie explained that during hypnosis I would go into a deep state of relaxation where my mind would be open, be more open to positive suggestions. In this trance-like state you are able to adjust negative thought patterns, she said. A couple of weeks later I went for my first hour-long hypnotherapy session. I was sat down with my feet flat on the floor we started as uh, I felt like. So did a body, a mental body scan. Afterwards, I felt lighter and more relaxed. Julie sent me home with a self hypnosis recording by um, world renowned Jason Newland, <laughs> no, um, including one to listen to before bed for insomnia. The more you do, the more effective it becomes. Julie explained. I started listening to the sleep recording every night. Again, I've come out of it again. It helped me drift off, and within a week, I was sleeping through the night. If I did wake up, I'd play the recording and fall back to sleep easily. Julia taught me more self-hypnosis techniques, and last year I managed to get through. Wow, so yeah, that's, that's nice, isn't it? So, cool. reading this is uh <laughs> right there's a funny story but I can't read it unfortunately right uh, 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 uh. win 450 pound cash another crossword this will be easy Wow, why is this one easier? This is a smaller crossword puzzle. And it's £450. Can you set a puzzle in this format? Send it with a photo of yourself to your address on P... What? Oh, style. In the... Oh. I think you have to do all the puzzles to get the £350 or £450. But anyway, first across Shallow River. I know that. It's the sea. A bog. Lake. It's a lake, isn't it? It's a lake. Opera solo. Two across. Singing. 
uh, payment for use of a house. Paying. Mortgage. Uh, three. Payment for use of a house. Three across. It's like, but it's for rent. R E N T. Oh, there's four letters in rent. For fashion. Glamour. Clothes. C L O T. Four. It's only four. Four across four down. Okay, next one. Down. Land used for cultivation. Farm. F A R M. Type of biscuit. Four down. Jaffa. G A F F. No. Uh, digestive. That's got more than four. Ginger. G I N G. Um, fig. Fig. V I V F I G. Has it got two G's? A fig roll. Um, rich tea. R I C H. Rich. But then it's not going to be called rich, would it? Kit Kat. Okay, three down. Let's say free Kit. Ba bacon skin. Bacon skin? Huh? Pig. P I G. No. P I G S. Bacon skin. I've got no idea. Sausage? Rind. R I N D. Of course it is. Rind. Uh, romantic meeting. Sex. Oh. Romantic meeting. Stood up. No, that's Mutu. Romantic meeting. Rendezvous. Uh, no. What's a romantic meeting? A date. D-A-T-E. I'm going to have to work this out now now because I've missed some of them, but some of them are done. I'm quite good at this. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. One, two... Okay, so the first one across is Shallow River, so it's Lake. L-A-K-E. Opera singer. Don't know. Payment for a house. Rent. So that's free. R-E-N... T, first four, fashion, don't know, land use for cultivation, land use for cultivation, that's one down, what, so I've got lake, but land firm root for cultivation is a farm, F-A-R-M, so it's not a, it's a fake a fake lake shallow river fern fern f for for uh, okay so that's an f now it's f a r m so now we know what m is so it's four across starts of m men's m e N S obviously it must be, mustn't it? Men's rent. That's gotta be correct. So two across starts of A. I still don't know. So four down romantic meeting. E something T S. It's date though, isn't it? We already know it's a date. A romantic meeting is a date. D A. Ah. So it's D A T E. So that means that the four across for fashion is M something something E. Many mean mean I don't know. So I've got date rent farm, but then one across shallow river F something something D. F 
Fred. Fraud. Third. Felt. Feld. Payment for use of the house. So three across is rent. Definitely. That's definitely. One, two, three, four. So it's three, three across is definitely rent. Bacon skin, rind. Oh, I didn't do that one yet, did I? I didn't do it yet. I didn't do it yet. So down, three down is rind. So R. Right, I just had someone at the door, but I cannot stop. I'm absolutely, uh, I am absolutely addicted to this right now. Rind. So rind. Date, rind, farm. So I've got one, three, four down. Second, number two down is type of biscuit. So A, E, E. Uh, ah. Rind, farm, mead. Is mead a river, type of river? Four across. Fashion, mead. I'm confused again. Rind. Two. Far, um, one across, land of cultivation. One across, shallow river. Fard. 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 Third. F I R E D. Is it F I R E D? Third. Third. One. One across. Shallow river, third, two down, type of biscuit. Ain, uh, um, a. Okay, so I need two across to get that. Two across, opera solo. A I O. O I. I know what it. I don't know how to say it. I O I A. I know that the first letter is A, the sec third letter is third letter is I, fourth letter is I A. So I think it's rent L. The biscuit. I mean, it might not be almond. No, that's not too many. A. Ah. Uh, Ah, two down, two down, two down, type of biscuit. Uh, um, L E E E. Unless it's not, unless it's M E, unless it's A made for. Four across fashion made. Does that make sense? But it's definitely M D E made. Uh, that doesn't doesn't make sense to me. How can that can accurate made? What's that got to do with fashion? Mend, but not made. M E N, M E N D. Rhine, is it Rhine? It's, it's not Rhine. It's Rhine. M E N. Rhine. M E N D. Fashion. Mend. But rind is R I N D. Date is D A T E. Farm is F A R M. 
so a cross is M D E N rhymed D Mead Maid I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Which means the only last one to do is a biscuit two two down A something E A A something E A Aurea Aria Ah Fora Ford It's a Ford isn't it? A type of river is a Ford so Oreo M Oreo 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 which means that F O R D A R M A T E rind uh, rent E A I what two across opera singer. So Oreo, so Oreo. Oh, Aria. Got it. A mode. Eh? So fashion mode. That doesn't make sense. What's a f so I've I've definitely got it, but a mode. What's that? What's that to do with fashion mode? M O D E. Unless there's one that just doesn't make sense. So Shallow River, Ford, Opera Singer, Aria, Opera Solo rather, Aria, Payment for Use of House, Rent, Fashion, Mode. Really? So that's the only one I don't understand. Mo uh, down, Land User Cultivation, Farm, Type of Biscuits, Oreo, I, that didn't cut, I don't eat. I don't eat Oreos. They're not really. We do have them here. They are popular, but they're not like, not as popular as ginger nuts. Um, bacon skin rind, and then romantic meeting. Date. So I've done it, but mode. I'm gonna have to look that up because that's annoying me. It's not annoying me. I'm not like, oh, but I'm a little bit. Mm. Mode. What's a mode? Mode. A fashion or styling clothes, art literature. In the 70s, the mode for active wear took hold. Never, ever heard that before. What is the definition of mode? A mode defines the value that a higher frequency is given set of values. Yeah. So I've I'd never heard it in the f when talking to about fashion. Uh, yeah, so that's that's definitely a new one for me. So thank you for listening. I hope this has been informative to you as well as it has been for me. I never expected to learn quite so much. And I can't really read the rest of the magazine because there's not enough time in the day. Let's see if there's any more other stuff. Um, right, okay. So let's uh, let's move away from it. It's bingo time. Nope. Funny phrase book. Off on a foreign holes this year. These sayings might come in handy or not. Okay. Someone has done a poo in the pool. Spanish, algo en ha hecho caca 
en la piscina. Uh, French cruel crew on a fate. Caca dans la piscini. Piscin. Italian quocono ha fatto la caca in piscina. There's a, there's a there's a definitely a word that keeps popping up in that one. Portuguese. I thought Portuguese was Spanish. I've clearly got that wrong then. Uh, alquim, alquim, there's coco na piscina. Sounds like a nice meal, doesn't it? But obviously not. Uh, Turkish, birisi havazuza kaka. Yep, miss. Ooh, okay. My kids sand cat. Really? This is something that my kids sand castle is better than your kids sand castle. Probably not something you'd ever be wanting to say to someone in another country when you're on holiday. Maybe, maybe you would, I don't know. So in Spanish, Spanish, uh, Spanish, 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 El Castillo de Arena de Mi Hijo S Major Cru L D to Hijo. And then French, Le Chateau de Sable de Mon. Infant est me le cu cu q celu de vot infant. It's a, it's a mouthful, isn't it? I mean, Italian il castello di sabe del mio bambino e miglio di culo del. Tuo ham mum bambino. Okay. So I'm sure there was another bambino there somewhere. Oh, it's two bambinos. Uh, Portuguese. O Castello de Ariar do meu fil ho a mel ho q o d su. Phil Ho and Turkish is Kokagumun Come Dan Come Dan Kakaleri Senin Koku Gunan Come Dan A lot of cocks and comes in this one uh, Kaluridinrin Daha Ayi uh. The last one is it's happy hour all day every day. Spanish es hora feliz to do el dia todos los días. French si est el huer de el apero tout la germi taus Less jaws, uh, Italian e Laura Felis Tato il Giorno Tutti e Giorni uh, Portuguese e Hora Felis O oh, Dia Todo to do to do's os. Diaz and lastly Turkish her gun gun boyu mutlu sartla so yeah I hope that was useful best dinner sets what? my greedy pooch turned himself into a real life piggy bank I don't know why am I even reading that? Um, ask Auntie Canelli. 
Ask Auntie Nelly. Our Antonella tells it how it is. Okay, let's see what the, the advice they're going to give. Neubers drive me mad. I'm disabled and hold a blue badge which allows me to park in the spot outside my house. But my neighbours keep parking there, making it hard for me to find an accessible spot. I approach them to ask them politely not to park there, but they insist as their cars are taxed. As their cars are taxed, they can park where they like. It makes me so cross. What can I do? Claudia, 58. Uh, the answer is nothing. Right, next answer this question. Because you don't own the road, <laughs> unfortunately. It's just a shame you've got pet. The thing is, even if your neighbours didn't park there, you'd probably find someone else who'd just come and park there. Um, it's a shame you can't get like... Uh, like a special place, you know. This is me answering now, not 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 whoever she is, uh, the Antonella. I mean, I would if someone's disabled and they haven't got a got a what's it a driveway, and they've got a car. It makes sense that they should have a, a spot where they can park. That's left alone. That she's it was always empty, um, but. Shall I answer what she says? Um, annoyingly, your neighbours are right here. Pet. Pet. Why is she calling her a She's not a pet. They can park there whenever they want. Unless it's... so. See, I told you. I know these. I know these things. Unless it's a marked disabled bay and they don't have a blue badge. Yep, I knew that as well. And the issue here is that they are being downright inconsiderate. What a shame they couldn't do the decent thing. Next step is to go to your local council and ask them to put a disabled bay in the spot. Exactly what I said. So you might think, well, I read that first before I said it. Nope, I didn't. Because I just, I reached into my, into my mind. Just looked for the knowledge, just searched and grappled for just the, the correct piece of advice that came straight away and I'm so grateful for the ability to be able to give advice. Perhaps I should do an advice page. I do an advice I do an advice day. What do you think of that? Do an advice like um advice what day of the week starts with A? Uh, January um um Monday, Tuesday. Oh, none of them. Um, oh, Wednesday. So maybe advice Wednesday. And you can just ask me uh, an, a question for advice. So, because I won't do that on Q&A Friday, because Q&A Friday is more, it's about me really, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, advice, do advice day. Once a week, maybe. That's a good idea. I think I'd be quite good at that. So, fallen out over politics. I'm tired of, I'm tired of talking about politics with my family. We don't agree. It always ends up in arguments. I try not to get involved, but it seems like they just want to row. They link everything back to who I vote for. It makes me dread family time. What should I do? Lauren, 26. Stop talking about politics. Easy. Easy. That's it. If someone wants to talk to you about politics, just ignore them. Just say, no thanks. And they ask you who you're voting for, none of their business. No thanks. Just don't get involved. Easy. Simple as, really. It's not worth getting, it's not worth falling out with a family over something as trivial as that. Because it's just opinions, isn't it, at the end of the day? And they're family, they're not your friends. You don't, if you, unless, if you're living with them, then I suppose you could get a little bit, 
heated but if you're just visiting family get togethers a few times a year you, who needs who needs to worry just let them get on with it see I wonder what uh, Antonella has to say that was my advice after the recent general election you won't be the only one tearing your hair out over this who who you vote for can be very personal and you don't have to agree with loved ones on everything in order to get on well if, if, if talk turns to politics change the conversation to something that you do have in common and if that doesn't work walk away flower flower why should you call her flower she has to say something at the end why did Antonella why why do you have to say, have some silly name to give somebody just can't you just why okay pet flower I've never called someone flower in my life I mean if it's a family you ain't got, you ain't got to talk about it any and got to do anything just they say who you vote for mind your own business don't worry about it because you know if someone asks you a question oh who do you vote for and you tell them and then they get into an argument well, you shouldn't vote for them then it's not worth it is it besides we live in a country where we really shouldn't be getting fanatical over stuff like that that's one of the good things about living in this country is we don't really do fanatics. We don't really do... Ex I mean, there is extremism and there is fanatics in this country, but as a whole, we're not. You know, that's one of the, one of the good things about living in England is we're not really... There are people that are, but generally, there's, we don't have that huge divide that some other places have you know during the last election which was literally beginning of this month 4th of July they uh, everyone I spoke to said that they were going to vote for reform but no one no one was like angry anyone else who didn't vote for what they voted for we're not it's, I don't know what it is it's just a little bit different here I mean I, was, I mean, hope it might not be like that forever and it's definitely not like that in some quarters of the country but it's, it's, it's not worth getting it all, all agged over it's just opinions at the end of the day and let's remember people with the most opinions know the least usually about the subject so when it comes to things like immigration they're usually the ones that are just spouting the same regurgitating the same old I think the word trope is the correct word I've never really used the word trope before but the same cliches as other people have heard uh, have not studied the subject they've not looked at the stats they've not listen to lectures on the subject you know from uh, professors and stuff you know it's just a bunch of some of the information could be true some could be false could be a mixture of the two and all based on emotion yeah it's like there's a, a recent a recent thingy going on in the world and I had a bit of a little heated relationship, a little heated conversation with a family member over it, trying to explain why it's happening and this person couldn't get what I was saying. I was trying to say, look, I've actually watched a lectures from, watch, watched lectures from professional professors, <laughs> professional professors talking about this subject and the history and why it's happening and the history of it and all that stuff and it doesn't make me an expert at all but I'm not coming from an emotional perspective just from a factual 
as much as possible, you know. It didn't go so well. Uh, scared of being a lonely mum. None of my friends want kids and I can't understand why. I do. They even go as far as saying they don't like kids. I'm currently in my first trimester and I'm terrified to tell them. My friends mean the world to me. They are my support system. I'm so scared to lose them. I'm going to answer this first. And let's see what Antonella has to say. Oh, I didn't read the, the other one, did I? You know, the end of the last one, she says, um, if that doesn't work, walk away, flower. Oh, I did, I did mention flower, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so if you're pregnant, which you, if you, you know, this is from Emma32. You're pregnant, if your friends have got an issue with it, tell them, tell them to do one. Tough. Have nothing to do with them. Is you know, it's like this is they're not really your friends, are they? If they've got like a real they just to be fair, if they if they don't if they're more important than the baby in your belly, then perhaps, you know, you need to reconsider what you're up to. And if they don't don't like if they don't like the fact that you're having a baby, they're not gonna be around. So, you know, either way, it's, you won't have to do anything. It'll just happen organically. Um, and if that's you in the picture there, if you fancy a date sometime. So anyway, uh, what does Antonella have to say? Congratulations, sweetheart. See, I knew there was going to be a, a sweetheart or a petal or a flower or a babe, or a pet, or a donkey, or some kind of weird pet name. Congratulations, sweetheart. Don't go worrying too much about this. People can say stuff they don't really mean. True. Oh, I can't believe I'm agreeing with her. Yes, kids can be annoying. <laughs> Oh dear, but surely no one actually really dislikes them. Yeah. When you tell your pals the news, I'm sure they'll be happy for you. And you can remind them how much they... Remind them how much they don't like kids when your little one arrives and they're all queuing up for a cuddle. Yeah, that's, it's not as good as my advice, but I suppose it's okay. Right, so that's done, that's done, that's done. A gift, right, that's done. Oh, there's a picture of a cake. That's not fair, go away. Oh, more cakes. This week's TV, Cooking with the Stars. Christopher Biggins, Carol Vorderman, Linford Christie, Billy Ellie Simmons. Presenters Emma and Tom are back. Okay. Uh, Unstead, Rob Lowe and John Owen Lowe. Okay, I don't know what that is. Coming soon. Where in store is a month ahead? Waterloo Road rivals Disney. Former EastEnders actor Danny Dyer and mum's Lisa. McGrillis are among the starry past the starry cast of this eight part drama based on Dame Jilly Cooper's bank bonk buster novel set in the 1980s TV world of 1980s TV David Tennant, Aidan Turner Catherine Parkinson, Parkinson Claire Rushbrook Emily Attack and Rufus Jones also star Oh, okay. Uh, oh, what's what's going to be my star? My my star. So this is for a week ahead. So 26th of July till the 1st of August 2024. Virgo. Virgo is the 24th of August to the 23rd of September. 
ember. So Mercury is now in your sign, guiding you to pay more attention to detail. Where do you need to bring a where do you need to bring a little more discipline to your communications? Uh, well it's never a bad idea, is it, to be to work on that stuff, I guess. Oh it's done. I think I've um, pretty much got to the end of it. The rest is just adverts. Pow what? Powerful suction. Okay, it's, I know it's this uh, DIY tool. Somebody knew what uh, chat puzzles, how to enter. A letter to a boy who saved me. The cordless super lightweight hedge trimmer. <laughs> it's got a it's got a lady with a hedge trimmer. I think this is aimed at I don't know, but anyways, uh, she's made a it's basically Canelo. Looks like Canelo in a hedge. The box of Canelo. Right, that's it. Read the whole thing. So I've read the whole thing. It's a lot of adverts in this magazine. I tell you, I don't know why they don't just give it away for free. All the adverts on there. But anyway, so that's that was that copy of chat for this week. <laughs> the next one I will next time uh, I'll next time I do a magazine I'll do a different one. You got take a break, pick me up, woman's own, Bella, woman, best and blimey also there's like, lots of different magazines oh, we've got lifestyle magazines take a break that's life woman chat pick me up woman's woman in a home take five that's life the oldie the great british birds woman's weekly so special people's friend I was gonna say I could I could do a video of this, but I wouldn't be able to show you the stuff anyway because it's copyright, isn't it? So I wouldn't be able to show you pictures or the magazines. Man's World, Man's World, okay. Saga Magazine, My Weekly. I wonder if Looking Magazine is still around. Wow, never been so excited. Let me look. Looking. Looking, looking. Oh, Vinny, you've guffed again. Stop it. Right, Vinny's now getting a little bit agitated. So I, I'm going to go. I need to get myself some dinner. It's now nine minutes to seven. So I've been talking. Blimey, the, the clock counter says nearly two hours. That's unlike me. Where's the time gone? So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. Oh yeah, and remember tomorrow, Q&A Friday, if you're still awake. Q&A Friday. Maybe send me, post a message on the uh, Jason Newlands, or question rather, Jason Newlands Facebook group when you join or if you've already joined pop along I'll leave a question because it's Thursday today so tomorrow I will do Q&A Friday and I will upload it edit it process it and upload it Saturday uh, early Saturday morning just like I will edit process and upload this early tomorrow morning